What's up, bro? So this is pretty much a motivation mixed with mindsets to do with going on a date. So basically what I mean by this is every time you go on a date, I want you to listen to this. Every time you're driving in the car to your date, I want you to listen to this. When you're getting a little bit nervous about the date that's going to come, I want you to listen to this. Okay? This is going to be for you to help you get through some of that nervousness, to help you get through some of those limiting beliefs around going on the date, to help you understand your value, all of these types of things. When you're going on your, the next date, make sure to listen to this before the date. Let's crack into it. So firstly, what I want you to understand when you're going on your date, when you're planning the day, when you're setting up the date, when you're about to go on it, realize that she's coming on this date because there's something about you that she likes. There's no other need for her to come. She could be spending her time doing anything else, watching a movie, going out with friends, doing anything, and she's choosing to spend this time with you. So I don't want you to start to think, hold on, what happens if she doesn't like me? Oh my God, I'm scared, I'm nervous. I want you to change the thought process and realize that she likes you or she wouldn't be showing up, okay? And I want you to take all the pressure off, okay? Don't think you have to perform. Don't try too hard. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, okay? Just relax, go there and realize that no matter what happens, it's okay. What do I mean by this? If it goes terribly, it's okay. You'll learn from it. Maybe you made drastic mistakes. Maybe you said the wrong things and did the wrong things. You'll learn from it and you'll be better next time. Okay, you'll be able to give a girl an amazing experience next time. Okay, and maybe it's going to go super well. And if it goes super well, that's obviously incredible. Okay, you're going to give a girl an amazing experience and you're going to have an amazing experience. Okay, and, and it's very important because lots of the fear, lots of the stressfulness, the anxiety of going on dates is irrational because I just told you if it goes well or if it goes badly, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. It's really important to understand this. And if you're planning dates, if you're just about to go on a date, okay, whatever it is, okay, you're about to go on a date, you're driving to your date right now, maybe, okay, you're thinking about the date that you're going on tonight. I want you to understand something, okay? And this is, this is absolutely key. I want you to really drill this in your head. That the girl has just as many insecurities as you. She has just as many things that she's working on in her life as you. Okay, maybe she's not into self-development and all these things, but she's also working out certain things. Her life is also stressful. She's also thinking, what happens if you don't like her? What happens if she makes you uncomfortable? What happens if she's not dressed well enough? What happens if you judge her clothes? What happens if she's having a, uh, if her hair isn't looking so good for you? What happens if you're used to other types of girls? What happens if she doesn't make a good first impression? Okay, she's also a little bit nervous. Okay, you need to understand that. So there's two sides to this coin. And because there's two sides, you need to say to yourself, okay, I'm going to relax and hopefully I'm going to make her relax so we can both have a good time. And next, the next thing I want you to think about on your date and going on your dates is that you, you have a lot of power. You are the prize. Okay, yes, she might be a beautiful girl. Yes. Um, she might be an awesome girl, whatever it is. But you need to understand that you know that you have tremendous amounts of value. Tremendous amounts. And any girl would be lucky to spend time with you. Why? Because you have good intentions. You're trying to give her a good experience. You're working on yourself. You're working on your social skills. You want to give her a good time. Okay, all of these things, it's actually very rare. Okay, you're not an arsehole, you're, you're a nice guy, you're a normal guy, you, you, again, as I said, you have good intentions. This already gives you so much value, you need to understand this. Okay, you need to understand that you actually have value and she is lucky to come on this date. Okay, you don't know her so well yet. 
Okay, you don't know all the qualities that she has, but what you do know is the qualities that you have. What you do know is the value that you have. Okay, that's what you know, and that's what you know for a fact. And never doubt that, because lots of times before you're going on your date, which might be right now, okay, might be right this second, you're on the way to your date, and oftentimes you're thinking, okay, well, I hope that she likes me. I hope that I don't make a fool out of myself. I hope that um, I can win her over, okay? Why are you thinking that? Why aren't you thinking, wow, she's lucky to come on this day to get to know me? Not in this arrogant way, just this objective, objective way. I know I've got value. She's lucky, okay? She's really lucky. That's what I'm thinking on my dates, okay? I'm thinking, well, I want to give a girl a good experience. I've got good intentions. I want to make sure she has an amazing experience. But she is very, very fortunate to come on this date because I value my time. And I know that I can see other girls. I'm in abundance. And that's what you need to understand. Now, even if you're not in abundance, even if you're not in abundance, you need to understand that she is still lucky. Okay, she's still lucky because you're working on yourself. You've got so much value to offer. You're going to get, improve yourself. You're going to get amazing women in the future. So if she's not taking this opportunity in the future, other girls will. And she would have wished that she did. Okay. Now, the last point I want to leave you with. Okay. The last, last point. And again, this is as important as all of them. Okay. As important as every point. It's understanding that you don't need to put too much pressure on the specific outcome. Okay, what do I mean by this? Often guys think that they have to achieve something on that first date. They have to achieve, um, they have to get the girl back home. They have to um, kiss her. They have to um, do all these things. You don't have to. Okay, it depends on the girl. She could be very conservative. Again, watch the blueprint video. She could be very conservative. She could be very shy, very uh, sexually innocent, all of these things. And lots of guys are saying, oh, no, I have to pull her home. I have to take her home. Says who? Why can't you do that on a second date? Okay, why can't you do that on a third date? Now, I'm not saying don't try anything. Don't escalate. Always escalate. Always try to take things forward. Always move things forward. But the goal isn't necessarily to bring her home, okay? The goal could be, let's increase the connection, let's increase the attraction, let's make her feel more comfortable so that on the next date, I'm going to bring her home, she's going to enjoy it, she's going to be more comfortable, it's going to be a win-win, okay? Take the pressure off. Very, very important. Keep listening to this. Every single time before you go on a date, when you're driving to your date, okay, when you're planning your date, keep listening and coming back to this episode.